What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Alux, but you guys can call me D4, and today we're going to be looking at how to make some quick cash on Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. We're going to be staying in the town of Blackwater for this one, and we're going to be doing a little hunting and a little fishing. And first off is the fishing. So this one is pretty easy. You want to be across from the butcher. Once you get across from the butcher, you want to go ahead and pull out your fishing pole and I'll show you exactly where we're at we're right across the butcher and I put two waypoints there and uh, right beside the dock the dock that's being built you want to put on your lake lure and once you do that you want to look out and see any type of movement and throw out that way once you do that you're going to hook on to a nice looking fish it's a sturgeon fish and once you get the sturgeon fish hooked um, it's pretty much the only thing you're gonna catch here if you use a lake lure so uh, it looks just like this and it's freaking huge the closer you can catch it to the bank the better it's gonna take you quite a bit of time to reel this thing in it's when I say quite a bit of time it's gonna take you a few minutes more than what you normally would for a regular bass or brim or trout or salmon it's gonna take you a little bit of time because it is worth more and as you can tell right there there's more than one in this spot and uh, usually if there's one there's usually at least two maybe even three um, so you may have to relocate in a spot really close to this if you go ahead and catch all of them in this certain area but they do respawn pretty fairly quickly um, if you want to catch these things now they go for a pretty good buck and I want to show you guys that let me reel this thing in but uh, making fast cash here on Red Dead Redemption seems to be getting harder and harder because of all the changes they've made hopefully they can change it where the fish are worth a little bit more or it's worth your time to catch some of the smaller fish i don't really care if they up the salmon or up the trout i just want them to up all the other fish so it's kind of worth your time to go brim fishing or bass fishing or whatever kind of fish you want to catch catfish whatever um but anyways that is you know something that they're really gonna have to work on with the game so i'm not really messed up about it yet because I'm still getting decent amount of money on catching fish and and doing little things like this but I found that Blackwater is a nice little town it has a lot of little cool shops as well and it's really uh, excluded from a lot of people you will see a lot of people fighting here um, if you can stay away from the people that would be amazing because the people really do mess you up big time I mean uh, I've seen some people come through and like have gun wars and I get put in the middle of it just because I'm fishing I have no clue why that is but it is what it is um, But anyways, so if you can avoid that you're gonna be fine But like I said reeling this fish in is freaking tiring uh, Remember when it starts to jerk or start to uh, move a lot You got to stop reeling you can fight it with your pole, but you can't keep reeling or you're gonna like lose your lake lure and uh, I spent a gold bar on my lake lure so definitely uh, don't lose that thing because you're going to have to spend another gold bar on it. But it's almost in. Uh, don't get too anxious if when it gets really close and it starts to fight again. Just let it go like right here. It's super close. Uh, and I could have fought it, but it's not worth it. Not worth breaking the lure off. So uh, go ahead and reel that thing in. Once you get that thing in, it looks like this. So you pull it in. Your guy makes this crazy animation. And, of course, it asks you if you want to throw it back and you're like, Heck no, to the no, no, no. And then keep that thing and then run straight across the street to the butcher. And there is your easy peasy cash. But when you get over here, make sure you hurry up and sell it. Because if you're not in that sell screen, people can shoot you. But once you sell it, you're going to get a nice little chunk of change at $7.25. Once you do that, run right back over and try to catch the other one that you probably are going to see while you're reeling in your first one. Because um, there's usually, like I said, I've done this multiple times. There's usually more than one every single time that you go there. Um, I've had people uh, fish with me and catch the other one. I've had people bow fish and kill the other one. Um, I've had other I've, I've caught both of them. They're trying to catch my fish, but I have gone ahead and caught them um, Usually they do like to stay out of the water a little bit like out further than the bank um, I do you do see them get kind of close once you're reeling in your first fish So you do have to be wary of that, but look at this boat. What is this guy doing? This is an NPC by the way. This is not a Regular person, but there you see you see the fish to the right of the boat so he like scared the fish to come in and the fish is there for me. So I'm going to try to reel this thing in. But I, what is the dude in the rowboat doing? He's got me messed up. I don't know what the hell he's doing. 
<laughs> but uh, this one I catch really close to the bank, which is really, really nice because I don't have to do so much fishing and reeling in. Um, and it, time constraints. Look at the guy in the rowboat, though. What is he doing? <laughs> I don't understand some of the NPCs in this game sometimes. It's great, though. Uh, caught this thing in less than 30 seconds. Got it in. And, of course, you want to go ahead and uh, pull that bad boy in. Keep it and take a sprint right over to the butcher. I just knew that I was going to get shot or something crazy was going to happen here in Blackwater. But <laughs> I have no clue what the heck that dude's doing. I'm going to have to take care of that guy. He <laughs> He's lost his mind. But, uh, yeah, butcher, sell, and then go ahead and sell that bad boy. So we made a good $14.50 in a really short period of time, which is really, really nice. Um, having the butcher right across the street. But this guy, you gotta go, man. I don't know what the heck he's thinking. What are you doing, man? Are you drunk? I'm saving your life, dude. Alright? You're gonna get a drinking and driving uh, ticket if you don't hurry up and oh, get out of that this. boat. Oh, he's he's gonna try to Only take me out here. No. here. One shotgun to the face. That's how we roll. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and hijack his, uh, his boat, you know? Grand Theft Auto, you know? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the next one. Uh, this one's a pretty cool one uh, right outside of Blackwater. All right, guys, we are here with the second part here. This time, we are going to be hunting down a cougar right outside of Blackwater. Now, what you want to do is there's actually a hill here, and it has like a windmill and a house. You want to go to that hill. That is the first thing you want to do. And then on the back side of that hill, there's going to be a cougar that spawns. Now, let's talk about this cougar. So there's only one cougar that spawns, and it's usually just one per play session. I don't know how many hours it takes for this thing to respawn, but after you kill one, you want to go ahead and go into another session. You don't want to try to stay in the session because there's not going to be one that uh, respawns super, super quickly. Now, once you get there, you want to take your bow because the pelt is the big moneymaker here. And if you kill it with a shotgun and you get a poor pelt, or something that's very bad of course you're not gonna be making the good money that you could so here is the little house there's a big tree and of course the big windmill and what you want to do is you want to take your bow and once you track this thing down we want to shoot it right in the face um, and so what you're going to do right when you get past here you want to kind of turn it on there it is boom we see it and uh, what it starts to run for you because you will scare it once you it starts running for you you want to hit that thing right between the eyes and drop it as soon as you can. Here it comes for me. Boom. Just took it out. One shot. One hit of quitta. And it, uh, it's kind of an adrenaline rush, to be honest. That thing is super crazy and super fast. So, uh, yeah, that's what you want to do. So, once you get the cougar down, you want to go ahead and skin it. And then we're going to take the whole uh, carcass back with us and sell it to our friend, the butcher. Now, the butcher, of course, like I said, the last one, we have our fishing that we can do there. So you can do it in any order that you want. But it's that quick money that you can make that's freaking awesome. So we've already made $14.50. Uh, now we're looking to make a little bit more money here. So we do have the pelt. Call your horse over, and uh, we can get that bad boy stowed away. And then we can put the actual body of the cougar on the back. Now... Um, this one is a little bit harder than the first one. Catching the sturgeon is pretty freaking easy. Uh, this one might take you a couple times to get used to, and if you just freak out and you just got to kill it with a pistol or you got to kill it with a shotgun, um, then do so. I mean, it's not that big of a deal uh, if you don't. I mean, you are going to lose a little bit of money, but still, you're going to get you're going to get some money. So some money is better than no money. But um, yeah, it's a quick little ride there, and you are good to go, guys. So. Again, we made like fourteen fifty, and by the time you take all this in, again, we're that's where I killed it, not too far away from that hill. Uh, but once you get all this turned in, it's going to be looking like you're going to make about twenty-two bucks. So in all actuality, you're going to be making over thirty-six bucks in just a little bit of time. You saw how quick it took me from the time I started into the city to get the two fish and then to get the cougar. I mean, it was simple, very easy, uh, not too hard. Um, I would give this like a medium difficulty, nothing too crazy. And um, one thing I will say when it comes down to the fishing, sometimes the fishing is bad. Sometimes the fishing is bad. It's not always rainbows with the fishing. It can be bad. Switch servers just like you would for the cougar and um, you should be able to get a good uh, group of fish right there, right beside the dock. 
Um, and then again, if you don't see the cougar there that, that spawns right past that tree on the downslope of that hill, then go ahead and get you a new session um, because it's not going to be there. It only spawns right there in that exact same spot every single time. So again, park your uh, horse right over here beside our good friend the butcher and you should be fine. Um, I think mine ended up running off or um, what else? I, I can't remember. I think it ran off as I was selling stuff. And I had to get out, call it back. It kind of made me scared. But um, again, after you sell everything, you should make about 22 bucks, a little bit over 22 bucks, and then you're gonna make over 14 bucks, which ends up us being around 36 bucks in total, a little bit more change than that. We may, it may be close to 37, but uh, anyways, it's a pretty good chunk of change. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do. You guys are just amazing. Um, if you like this type of video, make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend. And uh, I hope to see you guys around. I'm really enjoying making all this content. So I hope you guys are enjoying getting this content. But I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.